Hi, welcome to another video. So today I'm looking at Sony KDL 40 3500. It's an LCD and this is meant to be a nice picture for my PC. The fault I'm going to show you today on this doesn't necessarily only apply to Sony's, it's uh, most LCD TVs and I'll show you one of the possible causes. Right, so I've taken the back off already. This is the power supply inverter board over here on the left. That's just the power supply. Various voltages, 0 0.7, 12, that sort of stuff coming to this video input board and tuner. This top board up here is the inverter, produces the high voltage for this board down here, which does the high voltage backlighting for the LCD. And this cover up here, I've lifted this cover, this is the TCOM board, I believe timing control. Now all the video information comes through this screen cable. You can see hundreds of wires up here. You see 20 or 30 wires or more up here. And this TCOM board feeds the LCD screen directly. Now don't do what I do and jump the gun and just order a TCOM board. Or take your old TCOM board out first and make sure you get the right one. There is more than one TCOM board for these Sony models. Maybe there's more than one for your Samsung too, but I don't know, but make sure you've got the right TCOM board before you try and fit it. Here's the old TCOM board. There's little brown pads on these what, ASIC chips and regulators and on the back. These actually conduct the heat to the metal panel. Someone had actually pulled this TCOM board, this second hand from EMOS down Derbyshire way. That actually pulled this heatsink pad off of this chip, so it's important replace the pads if they're missing, otherwise they'll overheat. These pads, although they're five six mil thick, conduct the heat to the metal casing, and same on the back. So that's the old TCOM board, and these black tabs simply lift up, peel them away, peel them back with your finger now pull them back towards you, slide the ribbon cable for the LCD in there and just gently clip them back in. So that's it, power supply, inverter for the backlighting here and all down the left hand side, teak on board under this metal cover, I don't know if you can see the cover, I've got the cover propped up. This metal cover has got a load of this metal tape shielding this teak on board from interference. There's a big strip of this along the top, so I'll just lift it up. I've got this panel out of the way and just lifted that metal panel up. So I'll see, I'm holding the camera, I'll see if I am zoom in. For those ribbon cables at the top, two ribbon cables at the top are very delicate. You'll be very careful with them. That's the LCD screen. If you break them, throw the TV away. It's going to cost two, three, four hundred pounds to get a new screen. So that's the two screen connectors at the top. And this one runs down to the tuner board. So that's it, that's the TCOM board. And this was about £30 from EMOS here in the UK. And there we are, one TCOM board later. So this picture size is wrong as I say I'm driving it from the PC. So it's obviously a square picture, not HD widescreen. But you can see the difference. All the colours are spot on. You can see the menu colours are now right. So I brought up the menu before and the menu colours are wrong. That suggests everything's wrong, so the TCOM board probably faulty. And it was. So if you've got dodgy colours on your LCD TV, have a look at Tcombo. Thank you for watching.